Hi everyone, this is Karim, Karim Baran with Solar Academy. And today I have with me Patrick Sitchell. Did I say that right, Patrick? Yes, you did. From Argosan, which is a building integrated PV manufacturer. Um, I believe originated in the UK, active in UK and Canada, and also making headways in the US market. We're both based in San Diego. And with that, Patrick, let's talk about Argosan. Um, so first, can you tell, tell us a little bit about the history of the company? Was I accurate in um, explaining it? Yeah, absolutely. Um, we are a building integrated photovoltaics manufacturer. Uh, we, we have a lot of projects up in Canada. We've been, we've been there. I think the concept has been around, don't quote me on this, but I think it's been around for about 13 years. And then we've been selling for about seven years now. In the UK and Canada, we've been in the US for about a year now, and it's uh, it's been very exciting. Got it. And uh, fr from what I understand, you're uh, about a handful of people in the US uh, in the US market actively working, um, putting the product out, and you've already made some sales and uh, and already active in building a, a partnership channel. Yeah. Absolutely. Um, we've, we've developed a partnership channel here. Um, we, it, it, like you said, it is, it is a rather small team. Um, mm -hmm. but you know, we're all, we're all very dedicated. Um, our part, we've, our partners are very close knit. We, we all know each other quite well. And, uh, yeah, um, we, some of these are a little newer, but yeah, we've been, we've been working. These are our, uh, these are our partners throughout. TBS is in the UK, and then Curtis is in San Diego. Solar Integrated Roofing there throughout the country. Um, I think they're based in San Diego. Moxie is throughout the country, and uh, Rodeo Solar has put up a couple projects for us. And Sustin is a newer one who we've uh, who we've been really enjoying, you know, having chats with. Got it. And so, tell us a little bit about the product. So, is this kind of like? competitive with Tesla's roof tiles, uh, how does it compare? And, you know? Yeah, um, we, Tesla is one of our competitors. We, uh, you know, we feel we have the advantage. I mean, Tesla is insane technology. You know, it's, it's a really awesome product, but we feel, you know, in once we're able to really gain some traction, we're going to be able to compete on a very, at a very large scale because, you know, we're able to maintain the aesthetic of a concrete roof because our tiles are bonded onto a legitimate concrete roof tile. And it's, it's no different than you would have on your roof um, if you were to do, a, you know, a concrete tile. And yeah. And, and you were telling me that when these tiles go on a roof, you, you generally sell them with a roof replacement at the same time. And, and the panel, or not the panel, but the solar system cost, at least from you guys to the installer, is around $2 and change per watt. Um, does that, am I correct in saying that? Yeah, correct. Um, we, don't, we don't have an install team at the moment, um, mm -hmm. but that's where our partners come in. Right. So we, we generally contract out our installs and then, we're able, we sell our tiles to the contractor who then quotes the job. Um, and then we go from there. And how many jobs has the company done overall worldwide? Um, I want to say 50 to 60. We're up actually up in historic Regents Park in the UK. Mm -hmm. um, but we're uh, 50 to 60 worldwide. Um, that's mostly between the UK and Canada. Like I said, we're pretty new to the U.S., uh, mm -hmm. We've been selling here for about a year, but yeah, no, we've, uh, we've got a couple deals up in New Mexico right now through Rodeo Construction with, with a good amount more in the works. And are the deals more resi or commercial or both? All residential. I mean, we've, oh. we've looked into commercial. We've kind of, I mean, there's, there's been talks about it, but in general, we're just residential right now. Got it. Got it. And then, um, can you talk a little bit about the actual technical details of the product? Um, like how many watts per tile or per panel? I guess each tile is a panel um, and the voltage of that and um, 
how do you usually string them together? What inverters do they work with? Maybe you can show us a couple of the tiles, uh, like they look like. Yeah, um, our tiles are 15 watts with 10, 10 volts uh, and then 12 volts open circuit. Um, so this is our terracotta module. This is a red solar module. It's, it's pretty unseen in the solar world. Um, not, a, not a whole lot of red solar modules out there. And that's what you can see behind me, uh, I believe, to the right, to, to, my, to my right. Um, yeah. And to then this, yeah. yeah, this is our shadow black solar module. Mm -hmm. um, and yeah, it's, uh, we, we generally put them together in, we try to keep the strings. I mean, uh, as far as the NEC is concerned, we have to keep them under 600 volts. Um, but, you know, we, we generally keep our, as far as, you know, general system designs, we want our strings to all be symmetrical. So we try to, based on the size of the system, we calculate how many tiles is going to be best in each string. And then we, uh, we put the system together and we generally keep them around 40 to 42, maybe sometimes 44 um, per string. Got it. Got it. Thank you very much for that info. So you guys are early in the U.S. market, and BIPV, building integrated PV, is generally a, a early technology stage right now worldwide. Um, there's really no uh, global uh, major player there. Even Tesla, I hear, has long wait wait periods. Um, so. What what are your challenges? What are you like? What are you challenged with day to day? If you could ask for anything, what what would that be? How can uh, the Solar Academy community help you? Um, Heat Spring uh, team has put us together, thankfully, uh, through our relationship with them. How how can we help you? How can others help you? Um, let's talk a little bit about that. Yeah, um, our, one of our major struggles is brand recognition. When you think BIPV, you don't necessarily think ErgoSun because you just haven't heard of us yet. Um, you know, we, we feel we have a great product and it's because we're so new and, you know, because, you know, we're not necessarily as big in the UK and Canada as, or as we are here. Um, it's, it's been tough because, you know, it's, we don't, we haven't done a whole lot of marketing yet. And we feel once we do some marketing, it's going to catch on. But in general, I'd say it's brand recognition because, you know, I think people need to know that there is another way to do BIPV out there that you can still maintain, you know, the same concrete roof that, you know, looks so good on homes. Right. Right. I understand. And what about your challenges on the marketing and on the sales side? Like you have some, uh, partnerships already in place. Um, how, how are those going? Is there anything um, that you would like to talk about that or? That yeah, you... um, all our partners are great. You know, we have constant lines of communication with them. They're, you know, we're, we're always accessible here. And I think that's one of the things people really appreciate about us mm -hmm. is because we're a small company, we're you can talk to someone directly all the time. And I think our installers really appreciate that. Right. But, you know, we're always looking for new partners um, because, you know, it's, it's good to be able to get this product out there. And the, the installs are really not too difficult. Um, it's it's same type of connection. The only thing you're utilizing different is a combiner box. Mm -hmm. um, but yeah, no, it's, uh, we're always looking for new partnerships. Right. And I, I assume you get a lot of questions like what inverters do you work with? Uh, what, what are some inverters that are compatible with your products? Um, can you talk a little bit about that? And also maybe uh, you probably get questions like what happens if you go out of business? You're an early stage company, not, you know, not a Tesla. People probably ask that question too. How, how do you answer those questions? Yeah, um, our, our inverters, we, we generally use any multi-string inverter. Um, right okay. now- SMA using, would work? SMA, we've been looking into SMA. We're not quite sure yet. Um, we have a little bit more digging to do, but based on what we know, SMA would work. Um, and then we use Solus. We're looking to use Solus right now. 
Um, we've really enjoyed, you know, the talks we've had with them. They have a great priced inverter and they have an extra string compared to a lot of inverters, uh, depending on the size of the, you know, inverter. But, um, and then we've been using Fronius for a while now. Fronius is great. Yeah, um, Fronius has been around a long time. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And we're, we're leaning, but we're, we're leaning towards Solus. We're, it's still, we still have to do kind of a little bit of a process of onboarding, but we really like them. And then as far as uh, going out of, you know, as far as what happens if we go out of business, I mean, we've been around for seven years now and we show no signs of slowing down, you know, and it's, I think we have a unique product and I think it's really going to catch on. And I, I don't see it going out of business. Um, we have a warranty. Um, our warranty is 80% peak power for 25 years. So basically when your system is producing the most, it's warranted for 80% of that for 25 years. And then our, our, sing, our tiles themselves are warranted for 10 years. Um, so the material itself is warranted for 10 years and our tiles, they, they don't break. Um, they're incredibly durable. It's not, it's not a glass on there. It's a, it's, it's almost a, like a polyurethane like substance, but it's, uh, I mean, it's, it's incredibly durable. It'll stand up to hail and, you know, we're rated for high winds. Got it. Got it. And what happens if there's like a disconnect in the wires, if there's some small service maintenance issue, how is that generally addressed? That's you. Our contractors will usually contact us. And then that's where a lot of, so some of our job is technical support and kind of problem solving on the other end. Right. As far as our contractors are concerned in general, I mean, cause we're in San Diego, so we, we're not necessarily going to be able to go nationwide, but if it, if it was, you know, something we hadn't seen before, I'm sure we'd be able to travel out there and really examine it. But uh, in general, we're, we just kind of do the technical support with our, uh, with our install. And you can guide your partners, people as well, like Moxie in the Midwest probably would be able to. Um, yeah. Send some yeah. technicians with your guidance and so forth. Yeah. Yeah. We, we, we have a pretty thorough training and, you know, it's as far as that is concerned. Yeah. We, and we're always going to be here. I mean, so we, our goal with our installers is to train everyone up to the point where they can do everything and they know just as much as we do. Got so it. at that point, they'd be able to problem solve on their own, but we're always going to be here for them. Great. Anything else you want to talk about? Um, you know, I, I think it's in general, just uh, we have a great company and, you know, we're, we're constantly excited because, you know, working for a startup is just awesome, you know, because, you know, there's, there's highs and lows, but, you know, at the end of the day, it's the excitement that keeps you going. And it's, uh, it's, it's a really fun environment. Yeah. Been there, done that. I know what you're talking about. <laughs> Well, Patrick, thank you very much for your time and for this information and um, looking forward to future conversations with you. Thank awesome. You. Thank you. All right.